As I mentioned in the intro video to this series, there are a lot of cool customer examples that I've shown in the past that have things like pop-ups and tooltips. Now under the hood, these are all multi-state objects. And the trick that makes them work is that they have an empty state. And typically what you would do if you already have content in InDesign is to select that content and go to the Object States panel and say Create New State. What it does is duplicate that state, and so you have two of them and you can switch between them. But what it doesn't do is create that empty state for you. So in version 3.4 of N5, there is now an option in the menu here to add an empty state. That puts that empty state there with a small rectangle because you have to have some kind of content, but it has no stroke or fill, and essentially you just don't want it to block anything interactive that needs to be clicked on, but you need to have something there. So now I have this empty state and I can toggle between those making content appear and I can have different types of content, right? I can have an empty state and then multiple states with content. So that's just a little feature that makes something that if you build this kind of interactivity you do all the time, makes it super easy, single click. It's available in the object states menu up here. It's also available if you right click on any of the states. The features in the next few videos I'm going to show you are typically things that might be made with these empty states that make them even easier for you to do. So check out the builders in the next few videos.